Morning. Hey, look, there's that big copper fire pit. Hey, look, there's the lid to it. No, sticky, sticky. Yeah, the lid wound up being stainless. And also, I realized, you got two wagons, Dunderhead. Why don't you just use them both? So that's what I did. I put all the scrappy bits on this one. And I got some of the other scrappy bits on that one. Did the Razor bike work? I don't know. It had a charger, but it also had batteries in it. So I just yanked them out and threw it on the wagon. Um, yeah, I didn't really keep anything other than the stack of chairs, the camping cookware, the giant, and the one mower. Anyway, morning. A little bit early still. We almost got enough of these things to build a goddamn shit out of them. What did it weigh? What did it pay in the new wagon? Featuring the reaver? What? Hey, big guy gave me a pair of gloves. We were going to wait and do a window wait video. But I figured, why wait? Uh, anyway, we're going to take this out and see what it weighs and what it pays. As soon as I find my keys. Hmm. Haha. Do you think it'll start? It's a Ford, of course it'll start. Parts may fall off once we get going, but come on. Let's get, let's get. Let's get in there. Got that mower sitting out front. The runner one. Yeah, one. Hi, back. All honesty, this one does like fit me a little better. It seems. So it would seem. I don't know. Let's run the air, man. It is hot out there today. Alrighty. Think we can sneak her on out of here? Sneaker. Sneaker. Sneaker, sneaker. Whoa. Don't run over the patio furniture. We'll have to scrap it if we do. Look out, Larry. I'm coming through. Like a glove. I don't really ever do much recording over at the non-ferris barn, so I guess we'll just see you when we get back. I think I know where the guy in front of us is going. <laughs> Man, you cannot get in, you cannot get out.
they're mechanicing on the road right at the entrance to the yard. This is halfway shit. Come on, man, spin that sign. How can I go slow? There's a guy in the way. Man, I'm going the back ass country way. for the construction traffic. Why did it weigh? Why did it pay? Why did you film anything? I don't know. It's too damn hot. That's why. Let's go drive through the pond. No, let's not drive through the pond. Let's do the wagon dance. You play musical wagons. Sealed units, clean extrusion, 70 cents for clean extrusion, stainless, MLC, bare, mixed low copper. Copper sheet, 13 pounds, 17.55 for that fire pit. Dirty extrusion, that was that pile of cut up chairs, 38 bucks. And then, um... Uh, let me see here. There's the uh, 400 pounds, eight and a half for the window weight. <laughs> and like I said, we had some this morning too. So. Anyway, and we're back. I'm back. Mm-hmm. Morning. My oh my, it's going to be a warm one. It's not even 8 o'clock yet. And it's already 80 degrees. That's so hot, it don't even have to be raining out to melt your M&M's. Anyway, morning. Um, I got a... Mr. Scrappity got a letter the other day. Yesterday, actually. Um, it was forwarded to me through my good friend, the Pallet Man. Otherwise known as Scrappin' Pallet Man. Um, he's pretty cool. He's got two wagons as well. Anyway, uh... Yeah. Specifically in the letter, it was stated to like not read it on the air, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna not read it on the air. But I would like to say thank you. I have received your letter and your very. I don't even know how to say like explain how generous it is. We got a donation for wagon repairs, and at this point we have repaired the wagon. But I would also like to say when we was on the highway the other day. I, I'm not an actual mechanic, so I don't know. Like, ah, it's got a six-speed automatic transmission. I don't know what speeds are in that transmission. I don't even know what a transmission is. It's what makes it go backwards and forwards or something like that. 
because it's hard to get them to go sideways. You can do it if you try hard enough. Um, but it seemed like it was revving really, really high on whatever last gear that is. Is that like... It's not the overdrive gear, because like when you hit like right around 40 or so, like you can see like it, it, it shifts smoothly most of the time, but I don't know. I don't know. See, that's the thing. I'm not a mechanic, so I don't know. So, although the wagon is repaired at the moment, it is a very used wagon. So, God forbid we have to replace the transmission or rebuild it or something stupid like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to take the wagon repair donation and we're going to lock it up and stock it up. And we're going to go ahead and try to start setting what little bit aside that we can, when we can, in case something like that was to happen. Because I think we found a fairly good mechanic, and they're right down the street, and, you know. But the thing is, when you got to take your truck to a mechanic, the mechanic expects you to pay him. So, um, again, I just, I want to say thank you, thank you, and, and thanks to Mr. Paul for getting that to us. Um, I know I don't have a post office box or anything at the moment, or have I ever had one? I haven't, no, because I went and investigated them one time, and they said it was $50 for six months. And uh, granted, I've had $50 here and there, but do I have it for a post office box? <sighs> I really don't. So, um, and it's kind of hard to just give your address out to every single person because you never know if, like, what if one of them's like vid vulture in disguise? <laughs> or it could be, it could be Stocko. You know, you never know. So we just play it safe, and we don't really give it out very often. But anyway, and then we got all the littles here. You know, well, you never know. You don't want to give your address out to some crazy head and have them come try to cook one of your littles or something so it's a weird world we live in that being said we emptied some wagons out yesterday um, I think I took it in the rear on the window weights they gave me clean sheet that wasn't sheet metal that was cast iron but I mean it is what it is right yeah, I will. I'm recording something. Can I have a moment, please? Thank you. Oh, yeah, I have had a moment. I need two. Can I have two moments? Can I have several? Can I have a handful of moments? Thank you. Um, yeah, 400 pounds of clean sheet for $34. Granted, I don't think cast iron pays like a fortune more, but it should have been, I don't know. Possibly maybe closer to 50 42 dollars or something. I don't know. So it is what it is um, And the copper fire pit was 13 pounds for 17 dollars and some change. I figured it was in between eight and so many pounds. I Don't have one of those actual like elbow scales or whatever. I just kind of guess, you know um. Yeah, so we hauled all that off. We got two empty wagons. It's Tuesday. It's going to be about 13 million degrees out here. Um, we found this fuzzy chair a while back, and I took it in the house. And You remember that one? It tried to attack us when we found it. And it got stained up and scarred up and whatnot. So She's looking for us. Let's hide. Um... She's coming for us. <laughs> you gotta catch me first. <laughs> Anyway, I gotta go!
Also, Mr. Scrappity got a Father's Day card a couple days back here, and I think I forgot to say thank you for that as well. You know who you are, because you sent it to me. So thank you. I come out this morning, and I sewed my seat. I mean, I know it's not the best job in the world, but... Uh, that's one thing I do have a plethora of, is uh, old blue jeans. So We're down one pair of those, because I cut the leg off of it. See? I mean, I guess you could still wear them, but you're going to look a little funny. Here's my box of garbage found thread, and thread accessories anyway um, yeah I'm a sewer seamstress I'm not a seamstress I'm a seam seamster seam, seam I don't know anyway I'm just hoping it'll keep the foam in the seat now I did shove a t-shirt down in the hole so it's kind of regained its form any who's it's what you say brown dog She says, open the door, because I have paws, and I don't have any thumbs. Fortunately, I don't either at the moment. You know, I'm thinking what we could have done here. It's just taken and laid that pizza out here in the yard. Hewey. A little warm out today. You think there'll be any scraps out there? Any scoops, any treasures, any uh, curbside gold. Yeah. Anyway, it's toasty out. I don't know how. Hey, apparently when you leave your Smarties in the window in like a hundred degree heat, they get all weird looking and uh and squishy and like weird and stairs. That's weird. What? Okay, are we ready? Are we ready, Freddy? Okay, all right. Technical difficulties there. I had it on photo. You guys don't want to just look at a bunch of pictures of the scrap, do you? Oh, that's not going to roll around at all. Hey, it's a start. Let's go scrap it. Mower. Scoops. Tick tock. See what kind of Tuesday load we can put together. Alrighty.
might somewhat keep them in place. Seems like it might rain. I hope not. We're low on devices. There's more kids than there is devices. We'll adjust that in just a second here. Let's scooch up. Let her have it so she can get it plugged in up here, bub. Come on. Sis is going to get it plugged in for you. Come on. Plastic or cast iron? Hmm. It's cast plastic. It's plastic iron. It's got a faucet on it. We'll take it. We do? I don't know why. We never use any of them. It's free clothes Tuesday. And a creeper. And I don't know what you think. Free clothes Tuesday, maybe. Why not, huh? in the wagon. It's a decent enough looking roll. Oh, it have a little bit of weight to it. I guess we'll take it. And it's rolled up, so it's not like it's super messy. But we're going to have to adjust. Do some adjustments here. A lot of that load looked like bath towels. I can use some bath towels. Scoops. Was, <coughs> Was what fun? Said. Was it fun? Was it fun? Are we having fun yet? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Making sure.
I would have thought it folded up more than that, but I suppose it does not. Actually, wait. What's this do? Nothing? Okay. We'll take her as is. Dropping it. Rolling the motor out. One way or another, it's going in there. There we go. Sweet. Now what did we drop? Oh, there it is. One of these days, I'll be able to reach it. There we go. Scoops. What's that? It's just a chair. But we'll take just the chair. Fuck you creeping looking for? Nosy? The lady that was staring at you? Yes, the lady driving by all slow staring at me. <laughs> I noticed that too. Okay. I'm putting an old beat up lawn chair in the back of my wagon. Not your children. Find that sweet spot.
Okay. Um, I don't know. Carpet cleaner. Uh, leave the bucket. Scrap the machine. Sounds like a decent plan. What's the condition of their condition? They're in good condition. And they're real plywood, they're not that press board stuff. So if you forget to leave them out in the yard and it starts raining, they're not gonna fall apart on you. Cornhole action. Um, Set on top of this one. String. Is that even a knot? I don't know. I hear thunder. Uh, yeah, any kind of, huh, yeah, I can take them, all right, yeah, yeah, I can take them. I 
wonder if they'll bring them out. Yes. Yes, if I don't get them, I'm sure somebody will. Yeah, put put too many. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Put one more just to be safe. Hey, we got them ones in the front too. I forgot about them even. We'll get them all on board here. One of these days. I don't like that.
All right, they're webbed in there, I guess. Scoops. Get all sweaty and I can't get these leather gloves off. Uh. <laughs> it is so hot out there. Uh. I'm gripping. I don't know where we're going to put it, but we're going to put it. If we don't get struck by lightning. Woo! No shit, that was close. Let's try to hurry. Jesus Christ. swing all the way forward I think it does I'm just loading it seriously I thought that would go forward what's holding it just these I guess let's uh try not to lose those Oh yeah, we're gonna get struck down. This is taking way too long. I don't know, did that help at all? Fold them up something and a uh, edger. Just stick it right there for now. What's that? I don't want the dishwasher. I'll take that thing though. Ooh, it's some kind of a meat slicer. It's a finger slicer, scrapper slicer. That's what it is. Good thing we got our gloves on. But, huh? Yeah, I don't know if I got room for it now, but I should be back around. So. Okay, I don't know. Is that any good? They have stainless. I mean. Huh? Yeah, you, they buy the stainless, but you got to separate it there. So. Oh, so it's not, you're not, gonna come back. Yeah, not probably not that much time, you know. So. See, if it's still there, then I'll grab it up. Sure. Yeah. I appreciate. It. Uh, have a good day. really trying to feed us that dishwasher there, wasn't he? He was all like, hey buddy, it's got stainless inside of it. You should take it. And I'm all like, nah, cause I don't really want it. Who are we talking about? Uh, some feller back there. I have a question. What's that? Technically, with all of this metal in our car, could our car get struck by like yeah, but we're sitting on rubber tires, so it wasn't really doing anything. Oh, yeah, good point. Hasn't that happened when Andrew, like, stuck a fork in the outlet and then, like, almost got, like, here, but he has a stupid Um, hand. it can happen, yeah. Alexis, I need the charger. I need the Nintendo charger. I can't get it. Alexis, I need the Nintendo charger. I can't. I can't. I'm plugging. Real time. Huh. 
seriously, where are we going to put this at? Alright, it's loaded. No, I'm just kidding. Let's find somewhere to put it. At least it quit thundering and lightning for the moment. It's always nice when you're climbing up around on the wagon. I think it's pretty well locked in there. Scoops in a wheelbarrow. Guess we can degrade it, but. We're not fitting that one on the wagon right now. We could if we dropped the tailgate, but... I don't like doing that. And we caught some good lightning on the way home there. They blew the traffic lights out at the on the honor ramp. Everybody's taking turns. It's a big, giant intersection there at Montgomery, so that was fun. Leave her alone. You guys quit. We had it stacked and packed today, didn't we? Uh, hold on, I get you this thing. Um, hey, I want to do something real quick. I want to feel my rear end. I mean, it's warm, but that's not like piping hot or anything. Alrighty. Um, she's definitely got some transmission issues happening. That top gear between 60 and 60, or <laughs> between 60 and 70, right about 65 there, it just, it doesn't have, what is that, a tack where it shows you the RPMs? It don't, it, this, this wagon ain't got that, so, but you can hear it, she's revving high. She's revving long and she's revving high. Uh, what? The lightning? Yeah. I already did. That was the first. That was the first thing I told him. I said it blew the lights out. Um. Yeah. So. Anyway. You know what we haven't done for a minute? It got hard again. It looks kind of weird, don't it? Very spongy. And a burger. Uh oh, more lightning. Um, I don't know. It's a cheeseburger.
put them back to bed. Uh, anti binoculars. Close that up. All right, yes, yeah, so we got a washer dryer combo, a cornhole set. It's okay to stack mowers this way. Am I am I right? I hope I'm right. I don't know. We'll scrap it if not. One mower, two mowers, a wheelbarrow of several aluminum shares, some kind of a cheese slicer thing. Better be careful. I'm willing to bet these are no sticky sticky. We need a replacement magnet there anyhow. No sticky sticky. See, it's turned on. Um, what about those? No sticky sticky. So we got a little bit of stain. Actually, let's put that down there so we don't tear the paint up any more than it already is. Um, yeah, that was Tuesday. It's getting ready to storm. I mean, I wish I had it set up where we could just come home and run back out in this one and clean the curb up, but then we'd have to make twice as much because we'd have twice as much gas money into the operation and all that. And I don't know. It works out the way we work it out. Don't you think? Um, let me finish or start helping getting everyone unloaded or finish helping get... Is there anybody out here still? Hello, just you? Oh, you and Bubby? And let me close this one. Well, you can come here and then shut the door and back around. I'll get him over that side. It's getting ready to storm, though, so you might want to hurry up and get in the house. What? I'm coming. Getting everybody out here. Oh. Well, I didn't know. I'm just used to hearing you hollering at me. That's my outro, man. Come here, Bubby. You fall asleep. Here, grab on. I get you. Come here. Grab. Stand right there. Here, come here. This way. This way. This way. This way. We take you around this way. There we go. Okay. He just now dozed off, so. Bubble gum, bottles, shoes, empty pop can. Um. And they gather up the gather upables. And if we got anything else to show you this evening, we'll show it to you. And if not, you'll see us when you see us. Um, I unloaded. Well, is this thing dirty? Does that look any better? I unloaded what I wanted to unload, which was the cornhole boards. The aluminum, the stainless, the mowers. I have yet to check this one. But as far as this one goes. She's a runner. Uh, yeah, it was out here. I'm sorry. Uh, Free Clothes Tuesday incorporated some floor mats. Hold on just a second. Uh, they've modified this one a little, so we won't need it. We could probably get some use out of some of them. Here is a blanky looking thing. They've modified this one too, didn't they? There's a quilty, fuzzy, fleecy blanket thing. Bath towel bath towel that one's a little what's that say hard soft okay um, bath towel with a shit stain um, I am I'm gonna get you in there hold on there's some coveralls for a big giant dude let's see what size are they Way too big for scrappity. You could fit like three scrappities in those. I could fit in the pant leg of that thing. 
Uh, bath towel, bath towel, bath towel, fleecy blanket, bath towel, fleecy blanket, washcloth, washcloth. Uh, let me put him in the pool. It don't start. It's a non-starter. So, I don't know. It's one of the little Walmart specials. It's about like what mom went out and bought. I'll probably throw it up on the wagon as well. Um, anyway, that was Tuesday. That's what we got. That's what we kept. That's what we're not keeping. I've been Mr. Scrappity. I guess I'll still be him next time you see me. That usually happens. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and share. And if you like this video, there'll be more trash picking videos. Because <laughs> that's what we do. We're trash pickers, right? Anyway, uh, if you want something else, you'll have to go find another channel. Why do we still looking at me? So the, the angle